All right, here we're gonna do this limit comparison test. And usually the trick is that you gotta do it incorrectly in order to do it correctly. Let's see if this video is being goofy here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me let me fly through this because we only have five minutes on this to do this. So we've got the sum to infinity for k starting at one of k over k squared plus one. And so then this implies that a sub k is k over k squared plus one, and we need a b sub k. Now I'm just gonna choose it because we have limited time, but if you're not getting the right b sub k, you can choose a different one. You could say b sub k is one over k squared, plus one, you can make it whatever you want. You're comparing two things. So if you um, if you choose this route, then it may not work. It may work depending. You could, you could use the regular comparison test maybe with this, the graphs will be different and so forth. But anyways, this is the one we're gonna use. So then the limit comparison test is first, we need to take the limit as K goes to infinity of A to the K divided by b to the k, b sub k. And then that's going to be equal to, let me get a different color here. That's gonna be equal to k over k squared plus one divided by one over k. And then by the reciprocal property, this will come up here and multiply with the k. So we'll get k squared over k squared plus one and also, we are taking the limit as k goes to infinity, so let's not forget to write that every time. Okay, so then here we see that this has the same power as this, so we just take the ratio of the of the coefficients, or we can factor out. So let's let's uh, factor out quick here. So then that's times one, and then this is k squared one plus one over k squared. And so then this piece goes away and then this piece here goes to zero. So we're left with this equal to one and that is greater than zero. So what we're concerned about is if this is equal to C greater than zero, a constant greater than zero is the first step. Then second, we check BK. So BK is one over K in which implies it's one over K to the one. So then by P series, BK diverges by P series and make sure, you gotta make sure when you're on a test, you need to write this out, you need to write this out, you need to write every test that you're doing and explain it properly. So we we did, we first we did the limit comparison test, then that brought us down to testing BK, which is divergent. Then third, if BK diverges, AK diverges. And let's make sure that we're writing the sum of these in front of them because this this is your sequence but we're looking at the we're looking at whether the sum converges or diverges so so here if the sum bk diverges then the sum ak also diverges by limit comparison test so you need to identify all of these things throughout it in order to get full credit on a test but that's how you do it for limit comparison tests let me jump back to the board all right we made it in less than four minutes Thanks. I'm JJ the Tutor. If you're interested in having private lessons, it's wiseant.com slash tutors slash JJ the Tutor. And I'll just type that in here real quick. So wiseant.com slash tutors slash JJ the Tutor if you want private lessons. Thanks.